yogis, I'm Ming Wei. Welcome to 30 Minutes Yoga Flow to Dancer Pose Natrajasana. Today we will do a 30 minutes yoga flow that builds up to the dancer pose. So we will focus on building strength in the legs as well as opening the shoulders and hips to prepare for the dancers. Let's get started in a heart melting pose or we call it an extended puppy pose. Hips above the knees, knees around hip distance apart. Extend the arms forward towards the front edge of your mat and rest the forehead to the ground. As it says in the name of this pose, you're supposed to relax your chest. Allow the chest to melt towards the mat. Allow the shoulders and the armpits to get closer and closer to the mat. Eventually, maybe bringing your chin to touch the mat, your chest to the mat. Breathe deeply in this position. Inhale, we'll lift the chin, draw your right arm in close to your right shoulder, keep your left arm on the ground, we'll, exter we'll internally rotate your left arm. Now catch a fist with your left arm as if you're catching hold onto the leg of a chair. We'll do a one arm uh, extended puppy. As you exhale, we'll drop the left ear to the left bicep, rest your right, uh, left ear down. And then we'll pull ourselves away from the left hand. So use your sh left shoulder blade muscles to draw yourself back. So your left forearm will resist the pull. Your left forearm will stay on the ground, but your left shoulder will work to draw yourself back. You'll feel a deep stretch in your left shoulder. Inhale, back to center, switch your hands. Right wrist on the ground. Catch hold of something like a pole or a chair of your leg, uh, the chair leg, and then we'll slowly send the right armpit to the ground, right ear to the right tricep. Rest your left forearm down, and then start to activate the right shoulder blades, right shoulder joint. Draw yourself back, pull your arm. This is such a great warm up for the shoulders. This allows you to get more um, range of motion in your shoulders. And it will help us to go into dancer pose even deeper. Or even maybe we can try a king dancer today with a flip grip variation. Inhale, come back to center. Bring your right palm back. Come into tabletop position, palms underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Inhale, extend the right leg back. Bend the right knee, point the toes towards your head. As you exhale, draw your right knee into your chest, touch your nose. Inhale, extend it back and up, arch your back, gaze up. Exhale, round the back, bring your right knee to the nose. Inhale, extend back and up. Exhale, round. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round into nose. Extend the right leg back, bend the knee. Lift your left forearm. And we'll bring your left hand to catch the inside of your right ankle. Now as you inhale, you'll kick the foot up higher. You can also tuck the left toes under for more balance. Inhale, draw the foot up towards the ceiling. Kick your foot to open the left shoulder. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now, we'll try to lower the right forearm down. Still catching hold of the back foot. Slowly lower right forearm down. So you're on the right 
in a forearm variation of a tiger pose. Three, two, and one. Release the back foot, left forearm down, back toes under. Inhale, lift the back knee off the ground, one-legged dolphin pose. Try to open the hip, send the right leg high up as far as you can go. Come up to your left tippy toes if you need to. Also feel the stretch in the back of your hamstrings as you keep both legs straight. And exhale, send the right foot down. Send the chest back, stay one breath in dolphin pose, inhale. Exhale. Press the palms into the ground, lift both elbows up together, downward facing dog. Exhale, bring both knees to the ground. Back to tabletop position. We'll do the other side. Inhale, extend the left leg back. Point the toes towards the head. Head up. Exhale, left knee into your nose. Inhale, extend the left leg back and up. Exhale, left knee to the nose. Arch, around uh, back. Inhale, arch back, gaze up. Exhale, round. Inhale, extend it back. Exhale, round. One more inhale. Exhale. Inhale, keep the left leg back and up. Lift your right arm, grab hold of the inside of your left ankle. Inhale, draw the foot up towards the ceiling. Open the chest. Open the right shoulder, kick the foot away from the body. Five, four, three, two, one. Gently place the left forearm down. Hold for five. Kick the leg higher. Four, three, two, and one. Release the back foot, right forearm down. Tuck the right toes under. Inhale, one-legged dolphin. Send the left leg as high up as you can. Open the hip. Maybe come up to your right tippy toes. Five. Four. Make sure both your forearms are parallel. Fingertips pointing forward. Three. Two. And one, place the left foot down, one breath in dolphin, inhale, exhale, inhale, lift both forearms together, downward facing dog, one deep breath, inhale, exhale, inhale, reach the right leg back and up. Exhale, draw the right knee into your chest. Place the right foot between your palms. Inhale, come up to crescent pose. Lift both arms up. Exhale, bring your palms to your heart center. We'll lift into warrior tree. When you're ready, shift the weight forward. Lean over to your right leg. Lift the left foot up. As we exhale, we'll bend the back leg. Bring the back knee towards the front knee. Squat as low as you can. Inhale, warrior tree. Exhale, bend the knee. knee. Both knees close together. Squat down as low as you can. Inhale, warrior tree. We'll try one more. Exhale, come down as slow as you can. Inhale, warrior tree. Exhale, reach the right palm down, left palm down. Slowly send the back foot down. Bring the right foot back, we'll go into high plank and we'll roll over to the right arm, reach the left arm up and we'll reach the left foot behind, wow thing. For five, four, three, push the chest even higher, two and one, left palm down. Left foot back, high plank. Shoulders forward, chaturanga. Inhale, 
Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg back and up. Exhale, draw the left knee in, step the left foot between your palms. Inhale, come up into crescent, reach both arms up. Exhale, palms to your heart center, get ready for warrior three. Inhale, lift, balance on the left leg. Exhale, bring the right knee in, touch the back of your left knee, squat down as low as you can. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, draw the right knee in, squat down. Inhale, extend. Exhale, now you start to find a point of focus. Later in dancer pose, we will need to focus on one point to find balance as well. Fingertips to the ground, gently send the right foot back. Send the left foot back, reach the right arm and the right foot up, step it back. Right arm towards the front of the mat. Open the chest while thing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the right palm down, right foot back. High plank, shoulders forward, chaturanga. This time come all the way down, belly to the mat. Now inhale, we're going to um, half, boat, uh, half bow pose. We'll imitate the shape of dancer pose on the ground first, just to prepare our body to go into that shape, but in a more stable um, ground, groundwork first. So now, keep your left forearm in front of you, parallel to the front of the mat. Bend your right knee in, reach your right arm back, grab the inside of your right foot your right ankle. Now as you inhale, reach the, pull the thigh off the mat, reach the arm up. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Release, right forearm to the ground, bend the back leg, uh, left leg, grab hold of the left ankle. Inhale, kick the foot into your Hands, pull your foot up. So both um, your arm and your leg will need to work in this position. Your leg is kicking it away. Your arm is pulling it higher. Three, two, and one. We'll try both sides. Um, grabbing your ankles from the inside. Inhale, we'll reach both your feet up, thighs off the ground chest as high as you can for five, four, squeeze your sh shoulder blades together, three, two, and one. Gently release the chest back to the ground. Release the back foot. So this is how your shoulders, your legs will feel when you go into dancer's pose later. So we'll also prepare ourselves to go into king dancer as well. Um, if this is not for you yet, right now, no worries. Just practice the same thing again. All right, the more you practice, the more you want, your body will go into the pose easier. So if you are preparing for uh, king dancer pose, you will want to do a flip grip here. So first you use your right hand to grab your right foot from the outside. All right. Once you grab the right foot, you draw the foot close to your shoulder and you start to rotate your elbow out to the side. Now you can place your left palm down to support. You will need to lift your body higher. And when you, as you rotate, the elbows will go out and up. Then you draw it back to center. You can hold this for five. Four, notice how your spine feels. Three, imagine yourself. You can also tuck your back toes under. Straighten the uh, left leg. Imagine yourself in a dancer pose. And one, slowly release the back foot. Bring the right palm down, bend the left leg. Grab your left foot from the outside. All right, remember, the thumb will touch the sole of the foot. The four fingers will touch the top of the foot. Inhale. 
draw the foot close to yourself, ro lift the chest, rotate the elbow out to the side, and up towards the ceiling. Your thighs are slightly off the mat. Five, four, three, two, and one. Gently release the back foot, come all the way down. Palms to the ground, underneath your shoulders, tuck the toes under. Inhale, come up to high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. When you're ready, inhale, right leg back and up. Exhale, draw the right foot in, step the right foot between your palms. When you're ready, inhale, crescent. Exhale, palms to your heart center, warrior tree. Come to balance on your right foot. Remember your focal point in front of you. Now slowly bend your knees, stand up straight and tall, left leg is bent. When you're ready, use your left hand to grab hold of the inside of the left ankle. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, we'll kick the left foot back. Now continue to deepen into this pose. Continue to gaze forward at your focal point. We'll lean the chest lower and we'll lift the leg higher. Your fingertips can point forward and come into a mudra for five, four, three, two, and one, do not let go. Now we'll slowly bend the front leg, reach your right fingertips down into a sugar cane position. So inhale, we'll straighten the bottom leg and kick the left foot higher up. Stretch your hamstrings, gaze is down for balance. Five, four, three, two, and one standing split release the back foot left palm to the ground inhale kick the left leg back and up head towards the right shin five relax the neck and the head four three two and one gently bend the front leg send the left foot back palms beside the right foot Right foot back, high plank, shoulders forward, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take one deep breath here. Inhale, exhale. When you're ready, inhale, left leg back and up. Exhale, draw the left foot in, step the left foot between your palms. Inhale, crescent pose, arms up. Exhale, palms to heart center, warrior tree. Step forward towards the front leg. Find your balance, find your focal point. Gently bend your knee, straighten the spine. Use your right hand to grab hold of the inside of the left, uh, the right ankle. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, first you kick the foot away. Exhale, you will try to lean forward even more. Lift the leg higher. For five, four, three, two, and one. We'll continue into sugar cane position. Bend your front leg, slowly lower your left fingertips to the ground and exhale, draw the foot. Pull your hamstring. You want to eventually bring your uh, right hand above your right shoulder. So your right ankle is also above your left shoulder. Five, four, three, two and one release the back foot right palm to the ground walk your hands closer towards the left foot head closer towards the left shin 
extend the right leg towards the ceiling five four three two and one now we'll step the right foot beside the left foot inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold inhale circle the arms up join your palms exhale palms to your heart center now we had the dancer pose in our flow just now now we'll try the king dancer pose so if you feel you're not ready for king dancer yet just do the dancer again we'll do it this time maybe find a wall for more support because we are going into a more advanced pose right now if you don't need the wall, no worries. Just um, come into the center of your mat. So either repeat the dancer pose we had just now, which is grabbing hold of the inside of your ankle, or if you like to try the flip grip. Now your left hand will support the wall first. Right hand will grab hold of the outside of your right foot. Now remember, you want to draw it close to your right shoulder so your foot might be here you need to first lift the knee up all right now once it's close to your right shoulder you will rotate the elbow out and up all right so uh, if you're able to flip your grip you can stay right here you can lift your left hand away from the wall and balance or you can also lift and reach your left hand back Find your right foot so that both your hands are grabbing hold onto the right foot. Once you grab hold of it, inhale, kick the leg up, lean forward slightly, straighten the arms. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knee, gently release the left hand. Release the right hand. All right, we'll try again on the other side. No worries, if you, don't. If you get it, it's very good. If you don't, just try again, keep practicing. Um, the flip grip takes a long time to actually get into. So be patient to yourself, be patient to your body. Right palm can support on the wall. Bend your left leg, left hand grabbing hold onto your left foot. Inhale. Draw the foot close to your shoulder and you start to turn your elbow up and up. You can stay right here. You can kick the foot into your hand. You can um, lift your right hand away from the wall. Slowly reach the right hand back. Find your back foot. Grab hold. Stay right here. Inhale. Slowly kick the foot away from your body. Straighten the arms. Lean forward slightly five four three two and one gently release the right hand the left hand and the foot down to the ground all right relax your shoulders will come down onto your mat extend both legs straight in front of you now we'll do a forward fold to release the back bend. Sit in a sit in a dandasana with both your legs straight. Flex your toes. Make sure your sit bones are on the ground. Pull your butt cheeks out if you need to, so that you can lean and rotate your pelvic forward. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, reach the arms forward. Long arms here. Imagine someone pulling you forward. Once you come down to your limit, grab hold of the big toe or the outside of your feet. Now pay attention, you want to bring your rib cage down towards the thighs, not the head down to the knees. So you start from the belly, the rib cage, and then the chest. Eventually bringing your chin close towards the shin. Breathe deeply here. You start to slow down your breath. Control your heartbeat.
Gently release the fingers, bring the body up. Bring your palms behind your hips, fingertips pointing forward. Open the shoulder, rotate the shoulders back. Inhale, lift the hips, reverse plank. Gaze up towards the ceiling, straighten the legs, toes towards the ground. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly sit the butt down. Roll down to your back. Bring the knees into your chest. We'll do one more pose to release. The plow pose. So when you're ready, knees in, hands getting ready. Inhale, lift the hips. Catch your lower back. Send the legs back. Toes touching the ground behind you. Tuck the toes under. Flex the feet. Straighten the legs. Release the hands from your back. Interlace your fingers. Open your chest. Send the hips higher. Stay here for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bend the knee. Release the fingers. Slowly come down. Vertebra by vertebra. All the way down. Bring your right knee into your chest, left leg straight to the ground. Bring your right knee over to the left. Extend the right arm to the right. Look towards your right fingertips. Slow down your breath. Now you can allow your breath to become slow and gentle and shallow. Just very natural breathing. Inhale, back to center. Extend the right leg straight, left knee into your chest. Slowly drop the left knee over to the right. Extend the left arm to the left. Make sure your left finger, the left shoulder stays on the ground. Inhale, slowly come back to center. Extend the left leg straight. Both your feet towards the corners of the mat, toes out to the sides. Arms alongside your body, palms facing up. Adjust your shoulder blades and your neck. Make sure you're in a comfortable position for Shavasana. Relax your toes, your ankles, your calves. Relaxing the kneecaps, the thigh muscles, the muscles that were working hard for us just now. Relax your hips. Let go of the spine and any tension around the spine. Relax the abdominal, the rib cage, the chest. Relax the shoulders arms, forearms, wrists, and the fingertips. Relax the neck, the jaw, the tongue. Relax your lips, nose, and cheeks. Soften your eyebrows, widen the space between your eyebrows. Relax the crown of your head, relax the back of your head. Stay in silence for one more minute. When you're ready, slowly come back 
bring awareness back to your physical body starting from your toes wiggle your toes move your ankles wiggle your fingers move your wrists and your palms gently move your head side to side wake up the neck join your feet together and reach the arms above head take a deep breath in and stretch the body long bend your knees slowly roll over to one side of your body when you're ready palm on the ground push and lift yourself up into a seated position palms on your knees take three deep breaths to close our practice today inhale exhale inhale exhale deep inhale exhale completely join your palms and rub your palms as fast as you can now send the warm of your palms to your eyes bring your palms to your heart center open your eyes thank you for joining me for practice today i'll see you on your mat next time namaste <laughs>